Hello everybody, uh, Steve, and I saw this question on Chief talk about how to make these shaker style or craftsman style cabinet doors with a glass panel up here at the top. And it's really quite simple, just using polyline solids. I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, so just using solids, uh, it's easy, just, you know, say two inches wide, 36 inches tall. We're just, they're an inch thick, and we'll just leave them that. Bottom is at zero. Uh, we'll use transform replicate here, make a copy, and move them in the X direction, say 16 inches. And so that should be an 18 inch wide door, I think. Yes. And then we'll make another copy here using transform and rep replicate and rotate it 90 degrees. Drag those in and make our top rail here. Use point to point to move it. And then use multiple copy here. Make two copies. Um, evenly distribute. And we'll just drag these down like this. And we'll just adjust this. Um, we'll make this 12 inches. Move the entire polyline. And then, if we take a look at that, you just got basically five rails, polyline solids. Pretty basic. And then we'll put a polyline solid right here. And we'll make it a quarter of an inch thick. And we will set the bottom at, I don't know, 0.25. We'll copy that and reflect about and then drag that down and we take a look at it again now you got your your door basically panel and glass and rails and styles and then just paint it and my suggestion is i i have this material in my library here already called honey and i made another material called honey 90 which is if you look at it it's just honey but i've rotated the angle on the texture tab to 90 so that we can use that material on the on the rails so that the grain runs in the right direction and then we'll use honey just regular old honey out of the library hickory honey on the styles here and the grain runs up and down then I'd paint this panel with a different color um, let's just go in here to the library and find a wood that looks halfway decent um, how about ash? Ash looks good. And then this is glass, so let's paint that glass. And I like to use CD, so let's type in CD here. CD glass. Paint this here. And there's your door symbol. Um, Look at it in vector view. It looks pretty good. Standard view. So then go up here to tools. Symbol. Convert to symbol. Cabinet door drawer. Add to library. Show advanced. Cat, cabinet door. Well, I've already made some. I'm just going to name it three. You name it whatever you want. Rotate it on its X axis because we've been... Um, drawing it in plan view, you got to stand it up. And then for the stretch planes, the width is zero and the height, I just want to move the bottom panel. I don't want to change the glass, so I'm going to put the stretch plane down here at about six inches, right down in here. And let's just see how that works. So go back here to our plan view and we'll just draw a little wall and put a cabinet on it take a look at it and then grab our door and then whoop, there you go so CD glass and I'll show you why uh, so when we stretch it see the bottom panel moves but the, the glass didn't and if we change the width a little this looks a little more like that cabinet in your picture um, I don't know what I did with it there but these are painted, and the reason I had you paint these different colors 
is so you could actually paint this some different colors if you wanted um, if we just pick this white off of here and we paint these you could actually paint this panel here a different gray if you wanted um, just in case you wanted uh, a different um, I don't know just a different color for two-tone uh, you may never want it but there you go so uh, it gives you the possibility of painting everything a different color if you make each section a little different you can actually change the paint colors without painting the whole cabinet at once so there you go hope that helps and uh, good luck